Another shift in my thinking relative to now I am here was caused by the Second World War. I, I, of course, I wasn't in it, but I was born in 1962, so the echoes of the Second World War are very much present in the world in which I grew up. So people, for example, I had a friend, his grandfather had piloted a Hawk Hurricane. Um, we built airfix models of the battleships and the fighter planes and the bombers and this and that. We played uh, World War II games. We, um, I don't know, it was just everywhere, red comics and all that stuff. And of course, this being the case, sooner or later, I borrowed books about the Second World War from the library. And very quickly, I sort of zoomed in on the Battle of Stalingrad. I have no idea why. I, I was, what, eight or so. But there was something, either the images or the just sadness, this absolute waste of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people just wasted for nothing. And I couldn't understand how bad it was, but the photographs of often, you know, these black, white, grainy pictures of frozen bodies, you just see a horse frozen and soldiers, one run over by a tank, actually quite flat. It just, what is this? And because of that, fa that fascination stayed with me, so I read a lot about Stalingrad and all of these things, and I could never, uh, with this battle and with all others, I could never lose this sense of what a waste, that all these people are dead because somebody up there, not up in the heavens, but on the higher levels of government or whatever, has a serious ego problem. And this waste, this how, how a few individuals with power and influence can lead to such destruction is, it's, it's in Now I Am Here. So Now I Am Here is not about the Battle of Stalingrad, but again, without the Battle of Stalingrad, I probably wouldn't have shaped the book in this particular way.